gosh, I love this lip liner. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jennifer. If you guys are new here, thank you so much for clicking on this video. I hope that you guys enjoy and I hope that you guys are doing well and staying sane uh, during this quarantine, which I heard that some states are already opening up. Like I heard Florida opened up their beaches, which is crazy. I couldn't believe that. I think that's a little bit soon, but Anyway, I digress. Um, today's video is going to be on this look right here, which kind of turned out to be like a mauve pink sort of situation. I really like how it turned out. I think it looks really nice. Um, yeah, I like it. Um, and it is featuring this palette um i'm pretty sure this is still available on sephora it was actually on sale um before the like rouge um like semi-annual sale started this was just on sale um it's originally 60 something and it was on sale for 45 this is what it looks like on the inside. Um, and I kind of used like these two. And then I used um, some colors, some like brown tones just to blend into the crease. And I really, really ended up enjoying it. Um, I think it's a great palette to travel with because you get a lot of options. Um, and you also get a black um, eyeshadow that you can um, use as a liner as well. Um, and it's super sleek, skinny, um, and seems like it would just be super easy to travel with. So I really enjoyed using this. I love the look I created. Um, I think everything kind of came out really nice and pretty and girly and feminine so i'm in love i wish i had somewhere to go but i don't i'm just gonna sit in my house um but that's besides the point um i enjoyed making this video so um yeah without any further ado uh i will let you guys get into it so enjoy Hey guys, so um, through some parts of this video, it's actually going to be um, sped up quite a bit just so it's not so lengthy. Um, this first color I'm taking, you can actually see it takes me quite a few dips back into the to the product to build up the pigment. It was a really light shade for my skin tone, but after, after going in, um, quite a few times, it, it does build up here. So, um, yeah, I just go in, um, a few times, build up this first color and then move on to the, to the next shade. Oh, 
So this first pink shade that I take, it actually looks super light in the pan, but for me not cutting my crease and just going straight in with it, it actually turned out to be quite pigmented. Um, so I was really happy with the way that it turned out without uh, cutting the crease or putting any concealer down, just going straight in. It really gave off great pig pigment, great color. It turned out super, super pretty, I thought. So I was really happy with the payoff with this color. And also the colors blended really well with each other. I do explain later in the video that they are kind of dusty. They're not very creamy eyeshadows, but you guys can see as I'm blending through, through with the different colors here that they do blend very nicely with each other. Okay guys, so obviously I did my brows off camera. Um, they came out a lot bolder than I was originally anticipating for this look. Um, so yeah, I have really bold brows for a soft glam look, but hey, you know, some days you just go with what naturally happens. Here, I'm just using the NARS Radiant, uh, Natural Radiant, what is this foundation even called? I can't remember. Please don't look at my crusty ass lips that I have here. So yeah, I'm just gonna blend this out, probably speed through some of this. And that's it guys, just a normal foundation here. I actually really like the way that my foundation turned out this day. I did a couple things different. So I went in with, under my eyes, I went in with a concealer that was more my natural skin tone first and then I went on top of that with my highlighting concealer and I really felt like it hid my dark circles a lot better than just going in with a straight two coats of my highlighting shade for my concealer and I'm trying to think um, the channel like the YouTube channel that I picked this up from I want to say it was Dominique Cosmetics channel that I originally saw this at but anyway yeah I really felt like my concealer just the overall brightness of my complexion everything really turned out uh, nice this day
this is me forgetting to put bronzer on and then remembering to put bronzer on I grab my trusty elf palette guys I talk about this palette all the time it is so amazing like seriously if you guys don't have this palette you need it it's literally eight dollars I bought mine at Target. It is so, so good. So I just go in first and like lightly contour with one of the deeper, more like taupey shades. And then afterwards I'll go in and bronze just by like swishing all of the swishing. Is that a word? Swishing, swishing, swishing. Just by like swishing all of the shades together and warming up my complexion and yeah i i can't put this bronzer down i've been using it literally like since i bought it i'm in love decided to use this master chrome highlight in the shade rose gold for some reason when I went to go use it on my inner corners it did not want to show up very well everywhere else on the face it worked perfectly fine but I did have to wet my brush here as you guys can see for the um, inner corner of my eyes. I'm not really sure as to why, but everywhere else on the face, it worked beautifully and it went really well with the pink eye look that I did. So I really liked it a lot.
love this um, like gloss topper from Bite Beauty. It's in the shade um, Blush Pearl. I do find it to be a little overpowering if I put it all over my lips, but just like dotting it on the center like I did um, really makes your lips look nice and plump and juicy. So I really, really like this. Um, I really like the way that my skin came out. Um, I mean, you never can go wrong with the NARS um, foundations. I love those. So yeah, so I'm really, really loving this look. I think it came out really nice. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, sorry I didn't do like a talk through. So this palette, um, it was my first time using it as I um, said, and I really love the shades. I feel like this is such a like one and done um, palette. I can honestly see why she named this palette the one. Um, I think you have such a variety of shades. You could do super neutral looks. You can do super glam looks. I love the way that the shadows blended together. There was a lot, a lot of kickback in the pan. These are super kind of dusty eyeshadows. So if you're used to using something like a color pop or even like um, NARS eyeshadows or something like that. Um, these are going to be very different in texture. Um, they're very, very dusty, a lot of kickback, um, and not a very like um, creamy uh, consistency that I'm kind of used to with the brands that I use, but that being said, they did blend extremely well. Um, there wasn't a whole lot of fallout, but I didn't use any of the shimmery shades. I did an all matte look today, so I don't know if when I used the shimmer shades, if I would get any fallout with those. Um, so yeah, that is it for me, guys. I really had fun filming this look um i enjoyed the palette so much and that's a wrap das it and subscribe if you haven't already hit the notification bell and if you like what you saw then give this video a thumbs up it really helps me out and i love you guys so so much until next time bye